In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to use some keyframing when a transition doesn't get you exactly the result you want. I have a subscriber who said that they, they use a transition in the geometric category. It rotates in the pictures, but it also rotates the background, and they only want the pictures to rotate and not the background. So here's an example of what they're looking at. So when we play this, we have the rotation, but notice it affects every single pixel on the screen. And so the question is, how do I switch that uh, so only the picture rotates in and not everything? Well, this transition would not be the one you want in that case. So let's look at a different alternative. The alternative, I'm not going to construct exactly like the one you saw, but it will be similar. So I'm going to disable track number two, which we've been looking at. And right below it, on track three, I have the very same clips. I'm going to enable track number three. And we'll click on the first graphic image and double click to get into our PIP designer. Let's assume we want, I'm going to turn off my grid lines here. I don't need those. Let's assume what I want to do here is have the picture end up at this location for a moment and then spin out. We'll go in about two seconds and I'll set a position and a rotation keyframe, both of those keyframe tracks. Then we'll move over a little bit and we'll set the same two with the same two values. And so between these two keyframes, this is what we'll see on the screen. Remember, a keyframe just records a value that applies to an object at a moment in time. So we'll go back to the beginning and we're going to click a position and a rotation. Now we're going to change both of these values. Instead of going fit, I'm going to reduce it by 25%. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. I'm going to drag it down to fit right about here. And so I've changed the position and the rotation when we start. Let's play this and see what happens. And there it rotates in. Let's go to the very end, move our time indicator to the back side. And now we'll do the same thing with it located there. I'll rotate it. And we'll move it up slightly off the screen. And now we'll play the whole clip and we'll see the picture rotate in and then it'll rotate off. When I get to the last keyframe, I don't have it quite right. It overlaps a little. I'll move it up a little off the edge and see if that works. Let's try it one more time, rotating in, locking in place and then rotating off. All right, let's do that. And I'll click on OK to save the changes I have here. And now that they're saved, the next thing I would like to do is take this keyframe attributes, right click and do copy keyframe attributes. Click on the next one and then do paste keyframe attributes. Click on the OK button. Right click on the next one, do the same. Click on OK, right click on the next one, paste keyframe attributes again, and right click and paste keyframe attributes again. And so now if I play what's on track number three using keyframes rather than the other options I have here, let's see what we have. Number one rotates in, rotates off. Number two rotates in, rotates off. Number three the same, and number four the same. Now, if you want to vary this even a little more, here's another option you have. You can actually overlap these on subsequent tracks. So while the one is moving, I can cause the other one to move on track four. I'm gonna add a track here. Let's just add a few more. Okay, and then we'll take this one. And I'm not, I'm not adjusting the timing. I normally would if I 
really wanted to do this in the right way. And we'll take one more here, drag this one down. Okay, let's see what it looks like now that I have multiple tracks where they're moving on and off at the same time, overlapping one another. Go to the beginning. Number one comes in and begins to move out. Number two comes in and then number three. And so there are all kinds of variations you can add in the timing of this uh, to work any way you want as you simply use keyframes instead of special effect transitions in CyberLink PowerDirector.